Good morning from the beachside town of Uluwatu. We are spending the weekend here because it's somewhere we haven't been before. It's known for surf and sunset, so we're so excited to explore and we will be staying in Sunset Hills. We're going to be swimming, shopping, eating good food, watching sunsets, and maybe even going to a traditional fire dance tonight. But first, breakfast. Hey. How's it going? Good. <laughs> are you hungry, baby girl? Who got all those pancakes? Mm. <laughs> Yes? Just chocolate. Oh, is it good? We just got breakfast. It looks so good. I got a dragon fruit smoothie bowl and it even says Bali on it. How cute is that? I got pancake and eggs. How is it? Good. Good? And I got a parfait. Uh, I'm not really sure what's all in it. What is this, babe? That, oh, that's coconut. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks really good. A chia seed parfait. Like the food here is super fancy. Like the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The aesthetic of the yeah, food? Yeah, yeah. Is like, it's really pretty food. Like you hate to even dig into it and mess up the design. And this is a banana coffee smoothie, which is absolutely delicious. And I feel like it's, uh, it's still coffee, but I feel like it's a healthier version. So like Rihanna said, we are staying in this incredible villa located here at Uluwatu Sunset Hills, and I'm about to give you guys a tour. You start off by entering through these beautiful double doors and you walk right into this fully equipped kitchen that also has this humongous island. And probably the coolest part about this villa is the indoor outdoor living. It's actually very common here in Bali and I absolutely love it. So the bedrooms are inside and you have AC there, but for the rest of the house, the living room, dining room and kitchen, it's all open and it's really cool. And so you got this beautiful dining room table right here, living room, look at that view guys. How incredible is that? And also the sunsets right there. Again, absolutely amazing. And then again, Tiana's favorite part and probably most people's favorite part is this incredible pool. This thing must be 30, 40 feet long. Absolutely beautiful. It's an infinity edge. Again, looking at that view and you do have a couple lounge chairs and some grassy area over here if you just want to hang out. And now I'm going to show you guys the bedrooms. We're going to start off in bedroom number one, AKA Tiana's room. Cause as soon as she saw the bunk beds, she claimed it, uh, but it's very beautifully designed. It's actually a huge room. Check out this walk-in closet. It's humongous. Look how long this is. And something else really cool about this bedroom is that the bathroom, one, it's beautiful, but two, the shower has its own garden behind it. How awesome is that? So Tiana's been absolutely loving this. She says it feels like she's showering outside and it does give that vibe. Check out how beautiful this walkway is to get to the bedrooms. And this is Rihanna and I's room. Well, who am I kidding? We know that Tiana claims every room. But this room actually has a little sitting area right here, which is super nice. And again, the rooms do have AC. So big tip there. If you're staying anywhere in Bali, you want AC. Beautiful artwork on the wall, beautiful bedroom, beautiful design. Something they did for us when we first got here was they took plants and flowers and spelled out welcome home shoulder family right there. It was really nice of them, it was really beautiful. But of course, Tiana messed it up as quickly as she could. This bedroom obviously has its own ensuite as well. Hello over there. A beautifully designed bathroom. Again, it does not have the outdoor area, but it is a bigger shower. And they really did do a fantastic job with the whole layout and design. And probably my favorite feature is both bedrooms are set so that when you wake up, you walk right out, you walk through the beautiful landscaping and you have this infinity pool right here with the view. And yeah, guys, it just doesn't get much better than this. Baby girl, did you want to show them something? Yes. Okay, Tiana wanted to show you guys something. I, I got to set up my bed. Yeah. You're gonna swim from one, one side all the way to the other? I wanna see. In one breath. Wow. Whoa, baby girl, good job. We all know she's a good swimmer, but she's officially a master swimmer. You want daddy come swim? Come on, daddy. Three, two. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! One more time! One more time again! <laughs> what kind of trick are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, okay, little <laughs> miss. Oh! <laughs> alright, alright. Well, then Daddy's turn. Daddy's turn to do a trick. Three, two, one! That was 
actually really good. Ken. Yeah, Ken. Good rotation. Oh, what are you going to do? Okay, let's see what you're going to do. Oh. Okay. Hey, come here. You want to get the comment section really going? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do your best trick. <laughs> I want to do a trick. Okay. Mommy's going to do a trick. <laughs> I spin a roosie. I all the way around. Did mommy yeah. do a good job? Come on. You got a one. What did daddy get, by the way? Uh, ten, ten. Yeah. Oh, I did a yes. full Yes! Daddy wins! Wait, wait. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> all right, let's see it. Oh. Whoa! That was really good. Ten, ten. All right, let's do a triple step. Down. You know what we're gonna call this? What? We should call it the Shoulder Tower. Yeah. Can you call it that? Shoulder Tower. Shoulder Tower Tower. Uh oh. Which way? Which way? Probably not towards the stairs. See ya. Arms by your side. And lean back. Are you ready? One. I got you. One, two, three. Back flip. Ready? Oh, she's gonna do it. Why? Why did you do that? Oh boy. You're smarter than daddy. <laughs> I forgot to mention that the property also has a super nice common area. It has another infinity pool up here, but this time this one's like maybe a hundred feet long. Look how long that is has all these day beds that's supposed to be a cold plunge over there and they're trying to keep the sun off of it and on the other end it actually does have a hot tub and then another big day bed over there and then a lounging area up here so this place is just super nice well thought out we're having a good time i can't find tiana where'd she go i don't know i can't find her oh there's baby girl these are big bean bags you want to jump on one? Oh, oh oh that was cool oh. i was not expecting the split Seeing how much water it takes to melt the ice, that means you're a scientist. Well, I'm a scientist. Yeah, because you're doing experiments. Could we see your face paint? Ooh, it's so cute, little kitty. Also, I'm loving your outfit with those shoes. Thank you. Okay, so what temperature water does it take to melt ice? Hot. Hot? Because the ice is? Cold. Cold and frozen, huh? The ice is gone. Now, I'm going to put some water in my cup. Can you use the water out of here so that we don't waste any water? Okay. We'll be environmentally friendly scientists. But which shoes are you wearing? My, my shoes. Those are your shoes, huh? Mm. Okay, just making sure. Wait, wait, that is your shoes. That's what I thought. I love your face paint. Fred is this. So, I have a special tool for you. Yeah. That's just for very special kitty unicorn scientists. Oh, okay. Thank you. You would like to explain to me what's happening over here? Okay, I have one more very special tool that's for scientists. Do you know what they call this? A whisker. A Yeah, like your whiskers. Get it out of Dad joke. I'm really soapy and I just need me in here. Mommy, I need to oh. make some soup. Daddy, I need a bowl. There you go. I don't need this. Oh, sorry. I'm a bad assistant. <laughs> now, guys. Who's that for? Daddy? Oh, wow. What do you call it? It's a cappuccino. Cappuccino? <laughs> oh, this is the uh, clearest cappuccino I've ever seen. And what are the bubbles on top? Foam. Oh, okay. Now I can go ahead and try it. Wait, wait for mommy. What's mine? 
This one is uh, I'm gonna change you my daddy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, let me help you. Let me help you. Ready? Cappuccino. Cappuccino. There that is go. a foam. It's just foam? Thank you, scientists. Cheers. Mmm. Is it really drinking? It's really good. But you two let me drink it. Daddy yeah, really you told me it. to. Okay. It's the best cappuccino I've ever had. Well, it, it is bubbles. Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me this is sink water? <laughs> Come here. You're getting the dump. Yep. Yeah! <laughs> I gotta make another. Alright, let's go get some real cappuccinos. In 600 meters, turn right. For lunch, we're gonna to go to a famous restaurant here in Uluwatu called Alchemy. It's actually purely plant-based and they have a ton of snacks and desserts. The restaurant is beautifully designed and has a really nice garden, but one thing it doesn't have is AC, unfortunately. But that's okay. They do have a playground for baby girl. Oh no, it's flooded. They're working on it, baby girl. Guys, I don't know what to do. We've already sat down. I hate leaving after we sat down, but there's no AC in here at all. And as you can tell, I am just pouring sweat. The food looks really good. Maybe I'll just sit still for a minute and I'll cool down. All right, we're not trying to be negative Nancy's here, but it is so hot. It is like 97 degrees out. The real feel is over 100 with really high humidity. Um, we moved seats across the restaurant. Now we're under a fan, so it feels better. But honestly, we almost left. Like Tiana was sweating, John was sweating. They were both about to lose it and I was hot as well, which is unusual. So we actually walked outside to leave and then came back in Literally. because like, Leaving's not really going to solve the problem that it's hot, but I think we feel a little better now. We got some coconut water with fruit in it. We're about to order food. Is everybody okay? They're fine, okay. <laughs> do you feel better under the fan? I do feel better under the fan, but it is just like I'm just sitting here like pouring sweat. I think after we sit still for a little bit, we'll cool off, get some drinks. Yeah, baby. I'm not my best guy. You're not hot anymore, girl. You sweat so much, all of your uh, your cat makeup came off. That's how hot it was. Lunch is here. I think we're all feeling a little bit better. Tiana got an acai bowl with some fruit. I got a mango yogurt um, coconut parfait with chia seeds. Ooh, I know that looks like what John had for breakfast, but ever since he had it, I've been wanting one. So that's what I got. And I got a poke bowl with jackfruit tuna and a bunch of avocado, which they took the avocado and turned it into a flower. How cool is that? Oh, you wanna try something? Do it. I'll try yours, you try mine. You just want the avocado? <laughs> How is everything? I haven't tried it yet. Let's give it a shot. It's good. Lots of flavor. How about yours? Good. Good? This was a very good choice. It is delicious. Um, what just happened? It Thank you, baby girl. We're glad we stayed because we finally cooled off and the food was absolutely delicious. But now we're gonna go try to find baby girl some more pants. The mosquitoes have been really tearing her up ever since rainy season started. And we just hate to see her legs all ate up with bugs. So we're gonna try to find some light pants for her to wear during the day. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I know, show them your band-aids, baby. Look at all those band-aids. On your legs. So these aren't like regular mosquito bites for her. She has like, I think, Skeeter syndrome where they swell up for her to sometimes turn into blisters and then she digs at them and then that turns into a scar. And I just don't want her to be 15, 16, 18, 30 years old and have scars all over her legs when we could have maybe done a little bit more. We really are trying all we can do, but I think pants is the last resort. So anyway, let's go find you some pants, baby girl. The biggest and a toy. Problem. Oh, and a toy. <laughs> I didn't mean to cut you off. The biggest problem is like when she's not with us, like at school, because sometimes she forgets. We have a roller for her to make it easier, like than spray, but she'll forget because she's having fun and you need to put it on like every two hours. So I, I feel really bad. We're trying really hard. And we know you guys are going to comment down below a bunch of remedies and we appreciate that. But I promise you, we've tried just about all of them. Obviously, we haven't tried all of them, but unfortunately, they just still keep getting her. I mean, we're in an environment sometimes that mosquitoes are just prevalent and Bali's one of them. So yeah, just filling you guys in. That's kind of why we're wanting to leave at the end of our three months. While we do love it here, the mosquitoes is a really big deal for her. So we're going to go to Australia and New Zealand, which is going to be cooler, like obviously way less mosquitoes and then Let's figure go. it out from there. Let's go.
we're on the main road here in um, Uluwatu in the area we're staying in, which is where all the restaurants are and also where all the shopping is. It is very busy, but we're gonna walk around and check out some stores, hopefully find some kids stuff. What is that? It's a jump rope. Not in here. No, no, no. Just look, you knock all the stuff down. We haven't had any luck finding kids clothes, but we're going to check a couple more stores and then um, probably call it quits if we don't find anything because it is hot, it is busy, and we have like a beautiful pool that we can use at the house. We're back at our villa now and the girls are hiding inside from the heat. So we just checked our phones and it's 90 degrees here, but my phone says it feels like 103 degrees and Rihanna says it feels like 106. And I believe Rihanna's phone over mine. So I thought this would be a great time to test out the cold plunge. I just took the covers off of it and I'm gonna go in in just a second. It feels pretty cold. Looks good though. All right, let's try it out. I don't know. It's really hot, but it is also really cold in this pool. I'm not sure. I want to lie and say it feels good, but it's a little cold. <laughs> all right, I made it up to my waist. There's only one more step. I'm going to go all the way in. It actually feels pretty good. Comment down below to any of you guys cold plunge. I always thought it was a little bit of a gimmick. I know there's a lot of studies out there, but I see like there's a lot of like converse studies. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. it feels like a bunch of unnecessary torture. But hey, if it works for you, it works for you. And it's not a terrible view either. So I think we're going to go down to the beach today to watch sunset and I think we're going to try to see a fire show. But normally the sunset's right there. I think Rihanna already showed you guys a picture of it. It was absolutely beautiful. I also got some really cool photos of Rihanna with the sunset and the reflection in the pool. Maybe she can show you that right now, but it was really cool. Oh, and by the way, of course, baby girl wanted to join us. But one rule that the uh, villa does have is no kids in the cold plunge, probably for like medical or insurance reasons. Although I don't know if insurance plays a role in Bali, but that's why baby girl's not joining me. Uh, it feels good just to relax for a second. So full disclosure, as we like to be honest with you guys, we've had a pretty rough week, maybe two weeks. Um, not all bad. Things were also great. Uh, but full disclosure, you know, I got really sick. Uh, then Tiana got sick. Tiana still has a cough. Rihanna got sick as well. I've had two migraines this week. I never get migraines while we're traveling, especially in islands like this. But I got two, and I think it's because of the pressure change where the rainy season's starting. So I've had two of those. In fact, I had one yesterday. Also, we just feel a little overwhelmed and stressed. I think it's because we're getting ready to start traveling again. We're getting ready to move again in just about a week and a half. And uh, yeah, we're just feeling a little overwhelmed. So this little getaway right here is actually helping us relax a little bit. Yeah, I just want to be honest with you guys that I think people watch us sometimes and they mistake our life for being perfect. It's far from perfect. Yes, it's great. We've got it pretty good. We're not going to lie, but we have our ups and downs and we get stressors and we have bad days and Rihanna and I have arguments. Yeah, we're just normal people. But anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't even know if it'll make it in the vlog, but we do try to be open and honest with you guys. We, don't, we just don't want anybody comparing their lives to ours and feeling bad about themselves. It's not healthy. Remember, you don't have the exact same journey as anybody else, so you can't compare yourself to anybody else. And uh, uh, no parents can raise the same two children exactly the same way. Every parent is going to deal with a child a little bit differently and just those subtle tweaks can uh, change the outcome of your life. So remember that before you compare yourself to anybody else and remember that comparison is the thief of all joy. It felt like a motivational speech. Maybe because I'm in the cold plunge. Maybe I should do this more. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to relax here for a little bit and then I'm going to go grab the girls and then I think we're going to head down to the beach. We might meet up with some friends that are down here and uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys later. We decided that we're gonna head out and we are gonna try to watch sunset from Uluwatu at the beach where the cliffs are. And then we're gonna go to a fire show. That's the plan. But first we're going somewhere special to Tiana's Bestie's house. We have yes. friends that are in town. <laughs> She's excited. So we're gonna go see Tiana's friend, Julia. Yes, you guys have seen Julia on like the past few vlogs because we're always with them. Well, they're in Uluwatu coincidentally the same time as us. So we're gonna try to all go to the show and everything tonight together. We're actually really sad to leave our villa because it does have a beautiful sunset view and it's just like so amazing. But we're gonna go socialize and do some Uluwatu must-do activities. 
We've met up with our friends now and we are heading to the Uluwatu Temple. We're doing like a sunset tour. We've actually crashed their tour and joined in. The tour guide was nice enough to let us cram in the van. Um, so we're going to the Uluwatu Temple and then um, we're going to watch sunset and go to a fire dance. So very excited. This is going to be like an epic Uluwatu night. We just got to the temple and they said I have to wear a sarong because I'm wearing shorts. Oh, isn't it? Roll down. This? Yeah. Like this. Oh, you're a professional. Okay, it's kind of hard. It's really silky. I told you. There you go. Good job. There are a bunch of monkeys here, like as many as we saw in the monkey forest, but the guide told me to hold onto the camera really tight because they like to steal stuff because he said um, back in the day, the monkeys were trained to steal stuff from tourists and then the tourists would have to pay money to the like locals to he get said, the stuff back. He also monkeys. said that the monkey forest monkeys are a little calmer because they're fed three times a day. Yeah. These ones are not, they fend for themselves. And uh, so you see them all running around with like water bottles and, and plastic bags that they <laughs> yeah. stole from people. But you can tell the locals because when the monkeys try to steal from the locals, the locals just don't let them and like grab the stuff back, but the tourists let go of it and start screaming. So it's really funny. Yeah. I uh, know. No drum. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, what? but um, that's where the fire dance show is inside the temple. Oh, you don't think we're going to leave the temple at all? I don't think so. Oh, you think that's funny? You think that's funny, don't you? It's <laughs> not very funny. Daddy wants to fly his drone. I'm not allowed. So the monkey just stole somebody's glasses and now he's eating them. Oh really? He's eating them? Yeah, he's eating them. Is that what he's eating? Yep. <laughs> he's literally just sitting here eating with sunglasses. Actually, I think those might be reading glasses. Some poor guys walking around can't see now. <laughs> That's crazy. He really likes them. He thinks they taste really good. So I missed it, but he literally just stole this lady's glasses and she's going to try to trade it. Let's see what happens. Is he going to trade? Oh, no. Oh, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. They're so fast and so mean. You need more nuts. He knows what they're worth. He does not want to give those sunglasses. I mean, those are readers too. He's already bent them up. It's crazy. They just take them. Oh, are he's trading them banana? Give back the sunglasses. Oh, he did it. He did it. Yeah. He traded. This guy just traded him a banana for the reading glasses. It's very cloudy because it's rainy season here in Bali now. So there wasn't much of a sunset, but it is gorgeous up here. But let's be real, the entertainment was the monkeys. The monkeys stealing glasses, the monkeys stealing phones. Those monkeys are crazy, but so smart because they know how to barter. Now we're in line waiting to see the fire show. Um, so we waited for the 7 p.m. show so we could see it in the dark because they said it's so much more magical when it's dark outside. Um, obviously because it's fire and fire is light. But um, yeah, I'm glad we waited for the later show even though it took a minute. How was last night? It was good. The fire festival or fire show, fire uh, show. was really cool to see. I will say waiting in that line though was uh, a little tough. I would advise not going on a Friday or Saturday night because it was super busy, but it was worth seeing and I think uh, I think you should check it out if you're in the area. Yeah, it was definitely ex an experience. And um, now we are up before Tiana because John and I were working on posting our Borneo video. If you missed that, make sure you go back and watch it from last week. But um, we had a visitor last yeah. night. 
Yeah, so I just came out here and I said, Rihanna, did you uh, did you eat something with like, I don't know if they're called grape leaves or like banana, ba- leaves. banana leaves or something? And she was like, no. And I was like, I think the hotel staff last night while we were out left us a snack and the monkeys found it. Check this out. There was uh, maybe three types of snacks inside of these banana leaves. And this was on here when we came in last night and we just didn't notice it. I didn't see it. Did you? No, I had no idea. I didn't see it at all. Well, the monkeys found it. So th- when I came out here, this was off like this, and this was everywhere, and I was like, what just happened? But the monkeys Look at that. They drank the grapefruit. So this soda. was all the way over there in the living room. I remember because I set it up. They brought it over here? Yeah, so they brought this over here. Look, you can see where he was holding it. Oh, my gosh. And then he ate one of my protein bars. <laughs> he unwrapped it. Well, he or she, I don't know which type That's of monkey. That's so but funny. Yeah, ate a protein bar. They had two grapefruits, and they had three... Some, something on I like how they left the trash and everything. You can see, you can see where they were. Look. Oh my gosh! I like how they left everything. They didn't really steal. They just took the food. How freaked out would you have been if you went around in that corner last night? <laughs> a big was monkey. Just like one or two, or maybe three or four monkeys just sitting here eating the food. <laughs> That's so funny. So Wait, I, you have to leave it how it is because Tiana's gonna be so excited oh when she God. sees it. You know what they should probably learn is how to open a fridge. <laughs> really I know. Well. They they made that. No, go try to open that fridge. They made it really hard to open. I think that's why. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think they did it on purpose because Tiana can hardly open it. All right. Well, we need to wake baby girl up because we have a little bit of a surprise breakfast. I don't think we've ever done this before. We've seen it a lot, but I don't think we've ever done it. And we're pretty excited. The monkeys. The monkeys came in here ate daddy's protein bar, drank our grapefruit soda, and left it knocked over, and then ate all the snacks that were inside of these leaves. Can you believe that? It's crazy, right? Why, why did they give up bananas? Well, we didn't have, I didn't even know they were here. I didn't see them. It was when we were sleeping. My idea. What's your idea? Um, maybe it's a, a security camera. And check to your phone and see what a monkey doing. Oh my gosh, that's oh, an amazing set idea. Up a camera, like a hidden camera. That would be smart. I wish yes. we did that because then we could watch the monkeys eat our food. Guess what else is here? What? Open the door. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. Come in. Look at that, baby girl. Wow. Where do you think they're going to put that? Are you going to eat food? Yes. How cool is this? So while this is absolutely a beautiful setup and we really appreciate it, it's proven really difficult for Tiana to eat standing up while the uh, thing's floating around. <laughs> we're probably just going to cause a bigger mess than it's worth. So we're going to eat it at the table, but it's really cool. I'm glad we finally got to experience it. Baby girl, is it really cool? She's still waking up, by the way. Yes, Angel? I say buddy. It does say Bali. Did you read that? Bali. Okay. I. Tiana, good job. You read that all by yourself. I'm so proud of you. Good job. She's learning to sound out each letter. It's really awesome. I'm so proud of you. What we got for breakfast is two smoothie bowls. I got some oatmeal with fruit, and then we got two pineapple juices and a watermelon juice. Did I get it? Ah, thank you. Unfortunately, the time has come and we now have to check out of our beautiful villa here at Sunset Hills in Uluwatu. We highly recommend this place if you're coming to the area. It's in close proximity to almost everything you want to do, the restaurants, the shopping, and the temple, and the beach. And the day's not over yet because we are heading to Sunday's Beach Club, which is really popular around here and we haven't been yet. The beach here looks incredible. The water is crystal clear and turquoise. I can even see the reef. And we're waiting for a cable car to come up because we're on the cliffs Hello. and the cable car is going to take us down to the beach. Thank you. You ready, baby? Did you find your friends, baby girl?
welcome. You're welcome, sweetie. So you may or may not remember from our previous videos, and you should be watching all of our videos, that we like coming to these beach clubs because they keep the crowds down, the beaches are well manicured, they give you beach chairs, and part of your admission goes to food and drink, and the food and drinks are usually pretty good. So, so far here at Sundays, A+. plus. We just got our lunch here at Sundays. It looks amazing. I'm just gonna call us the Scholar Travel Family, Lifestyle Family slash Food Bloggers because we're always showing our food because it's very exciting to me. So here we have, um, first off, a grain bowl with veggies and tempura mushrooms, and then tempeh sticks, or like tempeh kebabs and tofu. Then spring rolls, I like, if I see spring rolls, I'm ordering them, you guys, like there's no other choice for me. And then fried cauliflower. It looks so good. We just got showered and changed. We're getting ready to leave the beach club, but on our way out, we got some gelato. It's delicious. Um, so we have about an hour ride home. This is a famous sunset beach, but we have an hour ride home on the scooter. It's a school night, so we're not gonna stay all the way till sunset. It's like 4 p.m. right now. We just don't wanna get home too crazy and late. And it's hot. Have we told you guys that it's hot in Bali? Yeah, I don't know if we've mentioned this yet or not, but the temperature is mucho forte, not forte. What is the hot? Fuerte. No, that's strong. Oh, mucho. Caliente. Caliente. It's mucho caliente out here. Why are you speaking Spanish? I was getting a little rusty on my Spanish. Oh, so you're just practicing. That's the only other language I know any of, so bear with me. But it is super hot. It's so hot. I know it's Spanish. You do? Tell us something. We know those trash. Good job. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, nueve. Diez. Two es muy bonito. Aww. Two es muy fuerte. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Pretty much uh, yes. muy. There you go. Look, you're talking if, uh, in Spanish. So we're fully aware that we're practicing our Spanish on a beach in Bali. Tiana has been really interested in learning Spanish, though. What language do you want to learn, baby? Spanish. Yeah. Does that mean we need to go somewhere Spanish speaking? Really nice. Nice bathroom again. So, oh no, not the open toilet lid. Not the open toilet lid. And if that's Celsius for you, I have no idea. Divide by two, multiply by three, carry the four, and add two decimal points. I think that's how you've done. So what we got for breakfast is two smoothie bowls. So what we got for breakfast is two smoothie bowls. <laughs> Did I mess that up too many times? Let me try one more time, all right? 